This is Alin from Javelin, continuing to explore the productivity-related enhancements introduced by SOLIDWORKS 2013. When you model a complex part, one that you know will have a long feature tree, it makes a lot of sense to provide quick access to the major features, maybe the ones that are defining the shape of the part, or really any feature that you know you're going to have to edit over and over and over. In this case, I would like to get access to these two sketches just because they contain the images received from the industrial designer defining the shape of the part. Also I would like to get access to some surface features, the one defining the parting line, the one that trims this parting line, so I'm getting the side outline of the part. Also the surface loft that defines the top shape, surface sweep defining the bottom, and even this surface fill defining the rest. So let's select all these features, surface fill, sweep, loft, surface trim, the parting line and the two sketches. And what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2013, once you right click on them, you have the option to add them to favorites, meaning that they are included now in this top folder, favorites. And imagine all this as being just shortcuts. That doesn't mean that I move them into this folder, they are still here in the feature tree. So for example, I can select that um, surface fill just by clicking on it. And as you can see, uh, it gets highlighted in the graphic area. Now if I highlight it in the graphic area, it's going to highlight it in the tree in the old spot. So these are just shortcuts. One thing you have to be aware of is that if you want to remove them from the favorites folder, you cannot just delete them. That would mean deleting them from the part. The option you're looking for is remove from favorites. This functionality is even more powerful in the assembly environment. Let's say I'm still in the design phase of this mechanism and I would like quick access to the feature that defines the shape of the arm and allow me to rename it to arm shape. If I right click on it I have the option to add it to the favorites in the assembly which is quite interesting. I have an assembly and in the favorites folder I have a feature that belongs to one component. Of course I can even add components to this favorites folder. I can do this directly from the graphic area. So I'm adding the cam here. And you can add pretty much any item in the tree. Maybe the top plane of the cam or of the arm might need to be added there. So allow me to just to rename this to top plane arm. And I'm going to add it to the favorites. So as you can see, any item in the feature tree can be added to the favorites of the assembly. Building and using the favorites folder throughout the modeling process will save you a lot of time. It might also help in decreasing the level of frustration that some users experience when hunting for these elusive features. Your colleagues will also thank you whenever they would need to modify or use your models.